What's up everybody? This is Coach Mike with Elite Performance and welcome to my channel. What I want to talk to you today about is weight loss. What is weight loss? What does it mean? How do you do it? And I want to do it in a way that um, I can keep it really, really simple, yet use science, but get straight to the, to, to, to the point, straight to the, if you want to lose weight, if you want to be healthy, then this is the one thing to do. All right, so I'm going to be really specific with it. Now, before we can understand how to go about weight loss, we have to understand what weight loss is, right? In order to understand that, you have to understand what your weight is made of. Your weight is made of two things, right? Fat and everything else. Now, just because I say fat doesn't mean fat is bad. You have essential body fat. Like I said in my previous video, things like your brain and other uh, fat deposits throughout the body are, are essential but your weight is made up of fat and everything else now everything else includes muscle but it's everything else it's bones it's hairs blood it's organs teeth just literally everything else but by and large on the everything else side the thing that you can control is muscle you really can't control how many organs you have, uh, how much they weigh, and so on and so forth. And that's a whole nother science discussion. We're, we're talking about weight loss. So you have, on one side you have fat, and on the other side you have muscle. All right, this is what your weight is made of. Now, it is very possible to lose weight by losing muscle, which is never what we want to do. All right, so it's not I want to lose weight, it's I want to lose body fat. That's what we're trying to lose. You're trying to maintain and or gain muscle while losing body fat, right? Because if you lose 20 pounds and 17 of it was muscle, then you don't look any better than you did before you lost the 20 pounds and nothing about your health has changed. You just got smaller. But everything else as far as look and health stayed the same. Now, if you lose 20 pounds and let's say, you know, 17 of it was fat and three was muscle. That, that's pretty good. That's the direction we want to be going. You really want to lose 20 pounds and have it all be fat. But if, you know, if it's, if it's going in the right direction, is what I'm saying. All right, so that's what weight loss is. The next thing we have to understand is the word calorie. And if you hang around nutrition long enough that you, you will see this acronym, KCAL. All right, so what's a calorie and what's a KCAL? Well, first of all, a KCAL is a kilo calorie right so it's like inch and millimeter they're both measuring something one is just measuring at a smaller rate than the other one now a calorie is basically something used to measure heat it's the amount of heat that it takes to raise one pound of water one centigrade so if you say celsius fahrenheit calorie you're kind of saying the same thing celsius and fahrenheit are descriptive of temperature a calorie controls regulates heat right so that's all a calorie is it's something that regulates heat it's no more okay now with that being said since a calorie only regulates heat that's all it is it's a unit of measuring heat right and it doesn't matter what you eat this is what i've been trying to get you to understand as long as you stay at your calorie range, then you can eat all cupcakes. It doesn't matter because the calorie is only a unit of measuring heat. That's all it is. That's all it does. So your diet can be nothing but cupcakes or nothing but apples. It doesn't matter. As long as you find your right calorie range, then you're going to be okay. All right. Now, I have a question. How stupid did I just sound? All right? I meant to sound stupid. I meant for that statement to sound just as stupid as it sounded. Because you know what that statement is? That statement is the exact same statement that everybody who tells you create a calorie deficit. For everyone who tells you calories in, calories out, that those statements are the exact same one I just made. And the same way it sounded stupid when I said it because I, I just exposed it and let you see what that statement really means, it should sound stupid if somebody else says calories in, calories out. Here's why it's stupid. All right, Calories in, calories out or energy in, energy out is a physics concept. All right? The human body is biology. 
And although physics and quantum physics and all of these things do play a part in everything on this 3D level on, on this earth that we live in, if we're talking about the body, then we have to deal with biology. And calories in, calories out is, is, is physics. It's a physics concept. All right. Let me show you how much of a physics concept it is. Let's say we have a 25-year-old woman. Uh, she weighs 150 pounds. Right? She's five foot seven. She works out for an hour every day, seven days a week, intensely. Okay. She maintains her diet. Like whatever her caloric limit is, she stays there. She never goes over it. She doesn't eat cake. She doesn't eat cookies. She doesn't drink alcohol. She has zero bad habits. Okay. She lives this life for 25 years. For 25 years, she works out seven days a week for an hour intensely. For 25 years, she doesn't drink alcohol, doesn't have a cookie, doesn't have cake, doesn't eat pizza, eats whatever your definition of perfect is. Whatever you think perfect eating is, she does it for 25 years. All right? The one thing she does wrong, the one, is she eats three potato chips every day. Now, three potato chips is 25 calories. So every day she does everything more perfect than anybody that I've ever met before in my life. But she eats three potato chips. Calories in, calories out. Says in 25 years she will gain 25 pounds. You don't believe me? Do the math. Okay? Calories in, calories out is the most ridiculous thing anybody can tell you about weight loss. Because like I said, that is a physics concept. It does not work with biology. It's impossible. All right. So first, let's just move that off the table. There is no calorie deficit. It doesn't matter. Calorie deficit does not matter. All right. With biology, what matters is what is the calorie telling your body to do? That's what matters. All right. Now, generally speaking, and like I said, I'm going to keep this simple. It can get complicated, but I'm going to keep it simple because I really want you to get this. Because if you get this and this whole weight loss thing is really, really easy. And I'm going to save you some money. All right. Now. If we're talking about the, the, either something is good for you if you eat it or something is bad for you if you eat it, right? That's it. Th those are the only two things. A calorie can tell your body to do something that's going to help it or it can tell your body to do something that's going to hurt it. Those are the only two options, right? So calories are either good or bad. There is no middle. There is no in between. There is no such thing as okay calories. They're telling your body to do something good or they are telling your body to do something bad. All right. That's it. Now, with everything that you eat, everything that goes down the hatch, whether you eat it, drink it, it doesn't matter. All right. The only thing on earth that sends negative messages to the body with stuff that you consume is chemicals. That's it. Whether it's hormones in the chicken, hormones in the milk, whether it's pesticides on the fruit, it doesn't matter. The only thing that sends negative feedback in biology to the human body is chemicals. Okay? If you eat chemical-free food, which by definition, if the stuff has chemicals in it, it's not even food. So I don't even know why I'm giving that stuff the courtesy of calling it food because it's not. But if you're eating food and there are no toxins in the food, then it's going to have a good response. So the question becomes, number one, how did the toxins get there? And number two, how do you avoid them? Well, all toxins are man-made. There are no such thing as natural toxins in food. If, it is, if something is toxic about the food, I don't care if you want to follow a plant-based diet, meat-based diet, fish-based diet, I don't care, water, whatever, it doesn't matter. If there's a toxin there, man, put it there. All right. So what you simply have to do is avoid man's fingerprint as much as possible when choosing where to buy your food. It's that simple. Let me show you what I mean. It takes a, a, a chicken about, I think it's 96 days to go from a hatchling to a, a adult bird. About 96 days. Okay. You walk into your grocery store. And the chickens that you buy in that grocery store, I don't care what the label says, nature this, natural that, this, that or the other. It doesn't matter. It's in a grocery store, which means it comes from a commercial farm, right? Because only commercial farms are big enough and can produce enough to sell to grocery stores. Organic farmers just can't do it. They aren't big enough, all right? So it says that it's nice or whatever, right? But 
the chickens in the grocery store are raised in like 44 days. So that means you have to use chemicals in order to make the chicken mature in half the time. Well, if you use chemicals, then you alter the biology of the chicken. You alter the chemistry of the chicken. And so by definition, at that point, it's no longer a chicken. All right? It's something that resembles a chicken, but it's not a chicken. And the same can be said about any fruit or any vegetable, okay? Because you walk into a grocery store, those fruits and vegetables are sprayed with pesticides, all right? In this country, we use pesticides that we know have a negative effect on the endocrine system, which is all of your hormones, all right? We produce a pesticide in uh, Minneapolis. I can't even pronounce the word, but if you Google like really harmful pesticide that we make in Minnesota, you should be able to find it. But it's so bad that the FDA won't even let Americans use it in America. So what does America do? We sell it to countries like Mexico and Chile and then they spray it on their produce and then they sell it back to us. Okay? So it doesn't matter what you're eating or what you're taking out. What matters is how many toxins are in it. And the toxins are all coming from men. So what matters is where are you buying your food or so-called food? If you are at a grocery store and I mean a grocery store chain. I'm not talking about the mom and pop spots. If you had a mom and pop spot, you probably win it. But I'm talking about a chain. If you had a grocery store, it's a wrap. It's over. There, there's nothing good in a grocery store. It can't be. All right? It's commercial farms. Because commercial farming has to meet a certain demand. Okay, If you can walk into your grocery store all year round, 12 months out of the year and buy a tomato, there's a problem because they don't grow all year. If you can walk into your grocery store all year round, 12 months out of the year and buy an orange, there's a problem because they don't grow all year long. There's the issue. Where are you shopping? If you're in a grocery store, I'm telling you there's nothing healthy in there. Weight loss is going to be hard. You're going to be forced to try to take chemicals and this weight loss this and this weight loss that and this intermittent fasting and drinking lemon water and all this stuff that doesn't work. And the things that do work are biological pathways that's creating all kind of havoc in life down the line and for all of the people that's taking all these things I feel sorry for them I really wish you would stop because the long-term effects are going to outweigh any short-term goal that you got I guarantee it but that's the problem where are you getting your food from all right I shop at farmers markets I shop at farms I shop at butchers if I go to a grocery store it's to buy like salt or bacon soda or, um, I don't know, um, apple cider vinegar or something like that, but I don't, I don't buy grocery store food. I, I don't like the way it tastes. I don't like the way it smells. I don't care if it's fruit. I don't care if it's vegetable. I don't care if it's meat. I don't care what it is. It comes out of the grocery store. It's just, it's different. It's, it's just totally different. All right. And I can guarantee you that my food bill is less than it was when I shopped in grocery stores. All right, if I go into a grocery store and I try to buy something that's supposedly healthy, it has some ridiculous price on it. But when I go to farmer's markets and I buy the product that's actually healthy, it's not as highly priced. That's the thing. People think farmer's markets are expensive. They're not. People think going to um, butchers and, and local farms, like I literally buy meat from farmers. You know, I buy eggs from farmers. I stay out of the grocery stores. And with that, now I pretty much can eat what I want to eat, you know, avoiding the 10 bad foods that nobody should ever eat. But that's the issue. That's the problem. Where are you shopping? If you're shopping in a grocery store, not only are you losing, but you're contributing to the problem. Because if we keep paying grocery stores to sell us poison, they will do no more than sell more poison. But if you take your money, which is your power, and you go shop someplace else, yeah, it might take you 30 more minutes to get there or 30 more minutes to get back. But isn't that worth the long-term effects of your health? And like I said, it's cheaper. Okay, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to go to a store. Uh, I was talking to a, a friend of mine, like buy jelly or jam and it's in your refrigerator for, for months and years and never mold. Like, what is that? That's not food, you know. I make my own jelly. I make my own jam. And within two weeks, if it can last that long in the house, but it's not going to last that long because it tastes so good. But it'll start to rot and mold because that's what food is supposed to do. 
So think about all the foods that you leave in your refrigerator for weeks and weeks on end and they don't go bad. That's a problem. I don't care what the package says, healthy this, good that, smart this, this apple, this orange, I don't, I, I, I don't care. You bought it from a grocery store and that's the problem. Take your money, buy local. Shop with farmers markets, shop with local butchers, shop with local fish markets, stay out the grocery store. And I guarantee you, not only will you feel better, but the way to come off, you'll look better. It, it, it's that simple. All right? There's no diet, there's no pill, there's no grocery list, there's no shopping list, there's none of that. There's change where you get it from. Now, if that's just not common sense, I don't know what it is. It's change where you get it from. Change the quality of what it is you're buying. Because I don't care what shopping list, grocery list, whatever it is, if you buy it from a basically pharmaceutical company ran grocery store, it doesn't matter. You're still buying chemicals. I'm Coach Mike with Elite Performance. And remember, I want to see you healthy and happy. Get out of those grocery stores. Shop local.